Hi, my name is Cosimo Pecchioli and I'm with Alfa Laval Data Center Schooling Solutions. And today we talk about pressure drop in plate heat exchangers. So, of course, pressure drop is the um, loss of pressure of the fluid throughout the heat exchanger, which essentially translates in uh, pumping costs. But what determines uh, the pressure drop? Well, uh, the first point are the size of the connections of the heat exchangers, then the distribution pattern of the plates inside of the heat exchanger, the surface roughness of the plates, the surface geometry of the plates, and finally, the turbulence inside of the channels. Okay, so we said that we have connection, distribution partner, surface roughness, surface geometry, and turbulence in the channels. Let's see which one are desirable and which are what actually you want to avoid. Pressure double at the connection is a big no-no. The distribution partner pattern and, um, and the surface geometry, it really depends. If you want a modern design of the plates, like this one, which uh, facilitates, actually, let's look at this way with the gaskets, which facilitates the, the equal distribution and the even distribution because you want to cover all the plate, of course. And you want a plate that is as smooth as possible so you don't have pressure drop just to go through the plate, but you have pressure drop, actually, because you increase the turbulence and, and, and the shear stress. And, fi and finally, of course, as we said, so you don't want loss of pressure drop because of the roughness of the plates, and, uh, but you want pressure drop based on the geometry, assuming that it's a modern geometry and fa facilitate the, 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 um, the shear stress. And of course, you want, definitely want turbulence in the channels. And equally, you want a modern distribution partner, sorry, sorry distribution pattern that uh, uh, covers the whole plate with the fluid. Now, let me spend a few moments to talk about the difference of the size connections. We said that you do not want pressure drop at the ports, meaning that, of course, if you look at these two plates, these are two gasketed plate and frame heat exchangers, <coughs> you have, of course, you can see very different ports. This is one inch, this is uh, two inches, or three inches, probably. Um, we talked about this in previous videos, but you can have give me some rope here, it's not a, a, a precise, but you can have the same flow rate if you have a, a higher number of plates with these sides of a lower number of plates with these sides. And the smaller heat exchanger will, for the most part, always be uh, less expensive. But if you have a three inch pipe and you have to squeeze it down into a one inch connection, even though the heat exchanger is cheaper, then you have a significant pressure loss at the ports, which really you don't want. So um, watch the size of the connections for your heat exchanger uh, when you design something and when you are offered something. Because if something is cheaper but has a smaller uh, size connection, it might not be the best possible option. And finally, it would be impossible to make a video about pressure drop without talking about shear stress and the consequence of partial load in a heat exchanger. So you have to remember that the pressure drop decreases with the square of the decrease of the, uh, of the throughput. So if you design a heat exchanger for 1,000 gallons per minute with 10 PSI pressure drop design, but then actually you run the heat exchanger 500 gallons per minute, so half of the designed throughput, the pressure drop actually, of course, it's, it's not going to be 5 PSI, so half, but it's going to be 2.5. It's going to be one quarter, the square of the difference. That translates actually in the fact that, unfortunately, 5 PSI, 5, 6 PSI design pressure drop is never going to be enough. Again, if you do not have fouling issues, you don't have, that, that's no problem. But if you know that down the road is going to have fouling uh, issues, uh, please co consider that 5 PSI to begin with is not going to be good. This is all for today. There was a short video about pressure drop. Uh, if you want, you can follow my channel where we talk about plate and frame heat exchangers and all the different challenges. Thank you very much and have a great day.